Oh man, it's hype beast season. It really is. Yo, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. You see the box, so you probably know what's inside. Well, you saw the thumbnail and the title. There was no click baiting around. It was simple. This is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 High. Travis Scott Fragment. Whatever. But before we get into these, we do have a quick word from our sponsor, and it's the good folks over at Soul Savvy. What is Soul Savvy? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Soul Savvy is an online sneaker community full of sneakerheads just like you and I, and everybody over there actually helps each other cop kits. If you are not into botting or cook groups or whatever it is and all that stuff, but you wanted to be part of something that was a little bit bigger than yourself, and yes, I know that you're here on YouTube and there's a comment section, but in the comment section, there's lots of trolls. Usually those people are cheap too, so they don't pay for services such as Soul Savvy or, I don't know, the Wear Testers Discord community and stuff like that. Little plug. So if you wanted to hang out with a bunch of sneakerheads that were just like you and I, you might be interested in joining Soul Savvy. And again, everybody over there is super chilled. They also like to help each other cop kick. So if one person gets something that maybe they didn't want, like something like this, maybe you wanted something else and that dude over there in the community actually has it. You can actually offer a trade. You can buy it from them for retail, whatever it might be. And there's a bunch of people in there. So you're going to find something and someone that can help you out. So again, if you were interested, there's going to be a link down below in the description box where you can click on it. It'll head you over to Soul Savvy. We can read all about what it means to be a Soul Savvy member. And with all that being said, you knew I wasn't going to do one of these without getting some fakes too, man. This is crazy. Okay, let me just hold on. Let me open all these things up first. So the real sh and the fake, sh like I've said on the low top version of these shoes is damn near the same. There's a couple of like minor things like the font thickness and it's so minor that you just wouldn't know. Okay, like unless you had them side by side with magnifying glasses and all that sh like you just look at it real quick. Did, babe, did these look the same? I was gonna say, how do you know that maybe they didn't have like a printer error? That's a big thing though, is that our left shoe factory and right shoe factory joke. Well, it's not funny, first <laughs> off, <laughs> because you pay retail or you like get a W and then you end up getting an L because quality control is just complete garbage right now over at this brand in particular. So like, why would you pay for one resale on something like that when you're not sure if what you're getting in is gonna be dope? My main thing, cause a lot of people keep trying to say like, why do you keep pumping fakes? Like you're, you're supporting fakes. I'm not supporting fakes. I'm letting you know, don't pay resale for this when this sh look the same they can't tell and if you think that some of these look at this the lids got the stamps on them the paper's the same the way that they bag up the laces like you're gonna sit here and tell me that's a lot of laces guys which is cool but you're gonna tell me that you know the difference just off of visuals between these two and i'm gonna tell you you're full of because that's not true. Like, I'm sorry. I know which one's real and which one's fake, and I still have a hard time telling which one. It's insane. So what I'm trying to say is that this, I hope, kills resale. Resale is not cool for the average consumer, especially if you're new. If you're new in the sneakers and this is the shoe that draws you in for whatever reason, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's hype. I don't care if it's Travis Scott. I don't care if it's Fragment, because that's why they do collabs, is to bring in new people, you know what I mean? Their fans, meet Jordan Brand, have fun, trying to get a W. It's not easy they look identical they're using the same materials the legit check people can't tell nothing stop paying resale for this garbage they're dope shoes just stop paying so much money for stuff stop overvaluing something that has no value there's little things that you'll be able to tell oh crap which one's which Oh, okay. They're two different sizes, so that's how I'm able to notice. That's how good they are. Now, as far as the shoe goes, I think these are gorgeous, okay? This is the real pair right here over here on the left, or my left. These are the, the Fugazis, if you will. They both look identical. The materials, again, like I'm saying, are, they're the same. Are you going to be lacing a pair up so we can decipher through B-roll again? Sure, I'll lace up the fake pair, because these are not mine, and I'm not gonna lace those up for him. That's his job, if he chooses to. So again, as for the shoe itself, I think that these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Something that I feel like was missing from the marketing simply because it didn't need it. Like when you have something like this that's hyped up, a lot of people are like, sweet, it's Travis Scott's fragments all at the same time, plus a Jordan 1. I'm just gonna go buy it, insert Kermit. <laughs> but this particular colorway is an original sample. Well, this way, not this way, this way. But a lot of people think that Travis Scott had anything to do with this. He didn't. A lot of people think that Fragment had something to do with the design. They didn't. This colorway was made in 1984. It just never released. Peter Moore made a 
a ton of these things. Half of them never dropped. And there was a lot of Jordan 1s that dropped in 85 to 86. This was not one of them, but it could have been. And I really wish that it did, honestly. Like, I really like these, but the fact that it's a collab, I can't get them. I just can't. And then I wouldn't, again, spend resale on them because it's ridiculous amounts of money. I don't know if I'm going to get a fake pair in or not. As for the tech specs, it's the same as any other Air Jordan 1, which is why I think it's so funny that people pay ridiculous amounts of money for these things. But you got the greatest traction of all time, a rubber cup sole. Inside of that is a polyurethane or EVA wedge. Inside of that is an air sole unit. On top of that is a cheap ass Ortholite insole, which you should never pay $2,000 for. They do come with four sets of laces, but if that's worth $2,000 to you, then I got lots of laces for you and I'm ready for your money. Venmo here. For real. The quality of the materials, the leather, it's awesome. Like this is a really well-made pair of shoes. I wish that every Jordan 1 was just like this. Every panel of leather on here is so good that I just want to hug these. I'm not going to because they're not mine, but these I can hug. <laughs> Even these got the nice leather on them, man. The cuts, everything. I'm telling you guys, the only real tell between these two, though, is the midsole itself, that yellowy color. This one is just a little bit darker, the fake one. But even then, like, it's very minor. The blue bottoms, which is a weird thing, and nobody will know this if you're wearing them and stuff, but the real pair is a little bit kind of, like, darker and, like, wetter looking. I don't know how to, like, it's got a little gloss to it. The fake one is just a little duller. That's pretty much it. Everything else, though, identical from the patches to the tongue. I don't want to unvelcro the real pair because I don't want to mess them up but even the fake ones got the same exact stash pocket with the silk pink lining it's insane dude like I'm sorry man like if you got enough money to pay hella money for some resale sh I'm happy for you I really am but I can't do that on a risk you know what I mean like it's too risky and sh right now overall I think that these are fantastic I think that they look great I think that they came out great uh, I don't even give a sh about the Travis Scott and the Fragment thing. I just think that this is a dope OG colorway that should have just released as a GR because I would have been totally down for that. That's what they were originally all about. I think that it's dope that they are a collab now. It's just unfortunate because I can't get them. If you were, for whatever reason, trying to search for a pair on the aftermarket, first off, good luck. I hope that you get a real pair. Second off, they do fit true to size, so go for that. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Did you get a pair? Did you not? Do you have one of this version of the shoe? I don't know. A lot of people seem to be like being like the brands and resellers and all that stuff. I'm going to go this route. I think that's fine too. I don't really care. It's your money. I don't give a whatever floats your boat, man. Whatever makes you happy, right? So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support and until next time, guys, have a good one.